Hello everyone, happy Saturday, hope you're all well. Thanks for checking this uh, little clip out. Just gonna do the old usual, turn the telly on. See what the news are saying now. I hear there's something going on about British Airways now today. Oh, great adverts. What else we got? No. Well, this is the BBC's technology game sort of program that they have on the news. See a lot of pushing the even more fake realities. People are just getting brainwashed by the day, not even realising it. It's pretty scary. Virtual reality. <laughs> you don't need a headset to know that <laughs> to be in virtual reality, you really don't. We've got everything we need already. We've got that, and we've got this television. It's virtual reality for most people. <laughs> Come on, get to something. Yeah. What was that advert? This is a recurring red hair theme in adverts as well. I've seen a lot, quite a lot lately. Sunny again, sun reference all the time. So yeah, now the bank holiday adverts. So terror in the UK when we feel like it or when we decide, but it's starting to die down now. They're saying that the armed police will be back in their little huts on Monday or wherever, their barracks, falling in line and will be called upon when needed again. It's just a big joke, isn't it? Duality at the same time, they're just showing all these, yeah, watch all these terrible films and programs but then watch the terrible news and that we're showing as a reality it's the same thing production but on a grand scale mass right come on what's going on This is Don Eason. One, our main story. The UK terror threat level is reduced from critical to severe with armed soldiers to come up. To severe, <laughs> okay. You know, it's not critical anymore. It's severe. Severe still sounds... It's highly likely. Highly. Oh. An evacuation takes place in Mosfire as part of the Manchester terror attack investigation. Of course it does, because it's been arranged that way. They're just playing out the whole backstory now. Chaos, that favourite word. So, oh, and here's Jared Kushner, one of the most famous 33 year olds in the world at this point. Okay, have a good weekend and Saturday, everyone. Take care.